Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we are blasting one of the gnarliest, craziest sounding releases of 2020. Hailing from Vancouver, Canada on Sentient Ruin Laboratories comes the debut full length from Ceremonial Bloodbath. The Tides of Blood. Ten tracks of dark, chaotic, bestial death metal from Vancouver, Canada. When you have members from other killer projects, such as Nightfucker, Grave Infestation, Radioactive Vomit, and Death Winds, to name a few, you know you're in for the fucking goods. And Ceremonial Bloodbath delivered the fucking goods. Coming off their amazing Command Sacrifice demo, which they added the artwork to, which I fucking love. I really love this band's art direction. It's super evil, super fucking cool, and very, very psychedelic. Like, look at that shit. I really want to get this on vinyl. Like, not only for the 12 inches of artwork, but the fact that this is absolutely fucking amazing. This is hands down one of the best releases of 2020. It came out of fucking nowhere. For me, at least. Like, I've heard the demo. Like, I honestly have. And I remember being like... Like, this is fucking cool. Like, thank you for sending me this. And I kind of forgot about it. And I was just on Sentient Ruin, seeing, you know, what was coming out. And I was kind of, like, still, like, I, I really need to grab that Nightfucker release. And I noticed the cover art here and remembered the band name. I was like, oh, fuck, like... Ceremonial Bloodbath, like, I, I, I know that band name, so, like, I clicked on the link, and it was like, fucking Satan was like, and just punched me in the fucking face and was like, yo, this is something special, this is something important, don't pass this off, if you can get a copy, do it, and I'm like, yes sir. Like, okay. And I am just absolutely blown away with Ceremonial Blood... Ceremonial Bloodbath's fucking bestial death metal assault. Because as much as I want to say, like, you know, oh, it sounds like Archgoat and Titan Blood and... Conqueror, Sarcophago, Blasphemy, Deicide even. You'll be like, wait, what? How, they sound like Blasphemy and Deicide? And the answer is yes. It's fucking sick. Like, seriously. Ceremonial Bloodbath is fucked. They're fucked. I don't know how else to say it. This is awesome. The Tides of Blood is, right now, it's my album of the year. Yep, I'm sorry, like, I, I love the Black Curse record still, and there's some similarities, like, there really are, like, they're both barbaric as fuck. They both have members that are in other popular projects, and... The thing about Ceremonial Bloodbath is, at first glance, you're going to think this is a war metal record. And that even goes to the stage names and everything, which I'll go over in a minute. The art direction is just fucking very, very just sick. Like... I was looking for another word, but all I could think of was fucking sick. 
So side A is Command Sacrifice. Primitive, Book of Black Blessings, The Throat of Belial, and Hordes of Demons Feeding. The B side is called The Void Staring Back. Starts off with Hammer Throne. That's the song I would start with if you've never heard of Ceremonial Bloodbath before. Hammer Throne kind of sums up their sound very, very fucking well. Seven Wells and Ceremonial Bloodbath in the depths make up this bad boy and we have faceless infinity on guitars and vocals abysmal berserker on lead guitar the nocturnal black on bass and vocals and nuclear hammer thrown on drums and just look at those photos You're probably just going to think, oh, they're from Vancouver. They're probably going to worship the altar of Ross Bay cult. And yeah, there's a little bit of Ross Bay cult influence, obviously. But this is a death metal record. Like, it, it really is. Like, yes, it has these bestial black death vibes to it, but it's mostly death metal. And they take that style and just soak it in just this rotten, evil, very sadistic sounding fucking vortex of chaos that is ceremonial bloodbath, the tides of blood, and it's something that doesn't come around too often. If I had to compare this to anything, it's this. And this is saying a lot. Yeah. Seven Chalices by Titan Blood. Rest in peace, Timo. Timo Katola, RIP. But if you like Titan Blood and you haven't heard Ceremonial Bloodbath, meet one of your new favorite bands. Sentient Ruin have this just amazing taste in music as a record label. It's not just death metal, it's not just black metal, it's from all over the extreme metal spectrum and it's fucking great. I love Sentient Ruin as a label. They have some of the best doom, some of the best black metal, and some of the best death metal in the game. And they have, you know, a strict following of devoutees that love Sentient Ruin and grab everything they put out. I'm one of those people that check out everything Sentient Ruin puts out because there's normally something that's completely up my alley and this time around it was Ceremonial Bloodbath, The Tides of Blood, 10 tracks of dark, chaotic death metal with a bestial edge to it. So yeah, bestial death metal. And listen to how fucking savage this is. There's the lyrics.
fucking base. Fucking rules. I can't get over how good this is. Wow. So, for some unknown reason, Sentient Ruin has not sold out of Ceremon Ceremonial Bloodbath's debut. The Tides of Blood is available on cassette and vinyl. I don't know if it has a CD release, but yeah. This right here is a total fucking atrocity. And I mean that in the best way possible. Like, what the fuck? The songwriting on here, it's top fucking notch. It's insane. It's like a more... It's a more accessible piss grave. Like how they mix, like, you know, those bestial black death elements with death metal, but it's vocally, you know, a little insane. This is the same way, but a little more accessible vocally. And not as rotten sounding. The production and whatnot on here is just crispy, very... Listen to those blast beats. They... Oh, I, I love this stuff. Like, I, I really could blast this just and let the tunes speak for themselves. But... Yeah, ceremonial bloodbath, the tides of blood. Wow, I, I don't know what else to say. Like, turn it up one more time.
thing about ceremonial bloodbath is you can obviously hear the blasphemy, the fucking vasifer. Those influences are there. Mystifier, like, it's all there. But then there's also, like, fucking deicide. And, yeah. Ceremonial bloodbath. The tides of blood. Dude, trust me. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is one of the best written, gnarliest slabs of barbaric death metal you're gonna hear in 2020. If not, just, you know, I kind of want to just throw this in with the rest of the death metal releases of 2020, and I probably will when it comes time to do an album of the year list, but as of right now, yo, fuck hype, you know, there's been a lot of releases this year that got a lot of hype. And, you know, the hype build up, build up, build up, and then there's certain bands where, like, I really feel it's like, yo, you do know they just put out a new record, right? Like, I, and I hate putting this band on the spot with this situation, but, you know, I never thought. I would have to even bring something like this up, considering how much love their last record got and still gets to this day. And that's Necrot Mortal. Now, I don't know if people forgot that this came out, but oddly... I hear no one talk about this record. Absolutely no one. Now, I've heard people recently talking about Blood Offerings because I guess it got a reissue on cassette. And even in Decibel, Albert, in his, you know, playlist of the month, had Blood Offerings. And I was thinking, I was like, man... Why is Mortal not getting love? Like, I, I really, you know, enjoyed this. But, at the same time, I did keep catching myself not putting it on. And, it, very oddly, like, I would get it. And, I would, like, you know, throw the A-side on and get through, like, two tracks... And out of the corner of my eye would see, like, fucking, like, the Siege Column demos. And would be like, oh, dude, I haven't listened to those in a minute. And then next thing I know, I'm listening to Siege Column and Necrot's back on the shelf. And I, I don't know, like, th this is a good record. And I, I do enjoy it. It's just for some reason... I feel like I skip over this and even listen to The Labyrinth a little bit more than I listen to Mortal. But it's not a bad record. But oddly, I like forget it exists sometimes and I never hear anyone talk about it on social media anymore. Is it not cool? Like, who the fuck cares about that shit? But like... The riffs on here, they speak for themselves. I think the band sounds great. I don't know what I like more, Blood Offerings or Mortal. I really don't want to be in that situation. And, you know, hails to Necrot for putting out a badass record. So, you know, bravo. But, like, a band like Undeath, dude, Lesions of a Different Kind is, like, blowing the lid off of death metal at the moment. That's a record that is not going to be forgotten. That's a record that is going to be spoken of openly and for a long fucking time. Hopefully, because it's really fucking good. And don't get me wrong, Necrot Mortal, fucking good. But for some reason, I, I, I don't know. Nobody talks about it. 
but a band also I don't hear anyone talking about that put out one of the best records of the year, Ceremonial Bloodbath, The Eyes of Blood, and the tape cosmetics. I fucking think this looks so badass. And it's nothing new, like, I, I just, I really like when bands do that. Like, put the logo, like, real big. I, I just think that looks so fucking cool. But, yeah, Ceremonial Bloodbath, The Tides of Blood, fuck yes. On Sentient Ruin Laboratories, this is Canadian Gold. But, like, seriously, this is some barbaric death metal that is essential for 2020. Get into it on Sentient Ruin Laboratories. The Tides of Blood by Ceremonial Bloodbath. If you don't like this, you're a cop. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Thank you again to Trev's Nick. John, Pat, everybody that fucking supports this channel, you're all amazing. I love y'all, and thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hey.